portion of the show is coming to the stage right now. So please put your hands together for Sheila Nafi. <laughs> Hello, Lumi Ben. I love this place. What a great crowd. Yeah, I know. I'm feeling pretty comfortable because I know a lot of you people in the audience. Probably because I'm a criminal attorney. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I need to be passing my cards out because I know a bunch of y'all are going to get pulled over after the show. <laughs> Look at you, I know a drug dealer when I see one. <laughs> no, I am a criminal attorney and I do the normal, everyday, run of the mill, okey type crimes like DUIs, making a meth lab. <laughs> bestiality. <laughs> is it is it still bestiality? If you just lay there and the animal does all the work? <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> You're gonna love these next set of jokes. <laughs> no, I I had a really bad summer. A couple weeks ago I was actually diagnosed with cancer. You know. But it's okay, they called me back a week later and said it was a misdiagnosis. You know. Thank goodness. Uh, they said, you know, it's either a bad test or they found out I have bad insurance. <laughs> it's like, oh no, you don't have cancer. <laughs> yeah, when my doctor called me a week later and said I didn't have cancer, I was like, yeah, I did. I had cancer for a week. <laughs> it's like, cancer for a week, really? I mean, it's going to take me more than a week to get my medical marijuana card. <laughs> Shoot, it's going to take me six months to get down to my ideal cancer weight. And uh, with hair like this, <laughs> yeah, I at least wanted to go through one round of chemo. Yeah, and uh, the, the worst part is, you know, the best thing I'm going to get from the Make-A-Wish Foundation is half off a bucket of chicken wings. <laughs> that was my favorite one. <laughs> no, it, like I said, I did have a bad summer. But I finally got rid of my stalker. I started sleeping with him. <laughs> a lot of y'all are dating stalkers, you just don't know it yet. <laughs> yeah, and I was fired from my job for breastfeeding. And I told my boss, it's every woman's right to breastfeed in public. He said, yeah, but you don't have kids. <laughs> you know, I like watching news stories. Did you see this one where this guy was placing dildos and porn magazines in women's doorsteps? And they were so scared they called the police. I mean, he was hanging out in their bushes and peeking in their windows. Can you believe how that guy's mind works? I mean, what the hell is wrong with people? Call the police? <laughs> Sex toys are expensive, am I right? <laughs> I don't know, like, where's my $99 rabbit dildo? Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> there you go. There's the joke you like. There you like this next one. Who likes Oklahoma City Thunder? You like that Woo! team? God, I love yeah. that team. They're, they're going to do great next year, but I'm sorry they didn't win the finals this year. But they're going to be okay. They got, some, they got some new merchandise out. They got this new dildo. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> yeah, it's called Thunder Up. <laughs> I thought I'd uh, try it out. Yeah. <laughs> she likes the dildo jokes. <laughs> yeah, I thought I'd try it out, but it was pretty hardcore. Yeah, but it was okay. I mean, like you, I mean, you're used to getting teamed up on by five black guys at the same time. <laughs> no, I, uh, I need you guys' help because I'm looking for a new job. Yeah. What am I good at, you say? Well, duh. Breastfeeding? <laughs> I do want to say that I hate that my gynecologist is all thumbs. Oh. <laughs> you had to think about it. <laughs> I'm kidding, I don't hate it. <laughs> of course, sometimes I think my gynecologist is coming on to me. Medical reasons to look up there my ass. <laughs> of course, it could make me feel a little better when I go into the office. It's like dim the lights. Or instead of those cold stirrups, Replace it with pink fuzzy handcuffs. Whoa! Man, we got a crazy woman over there. <laughs> or uh, shake it up once in a while, throw in a butt plug. <laughs> yeah, that's why I like my dentist so much. <laughs> and one more thing before I go, I finally found the type guy that I love. You know, he's desperate. 
He hadn't been late in months, and he's not afraid of commitment. Married men. <laughs> so I started sleeping with one, and my best friend was such a bitch about it. She's like, he's so gross. What a jerk. I can't believe you're sleeping with him. She is such a hypocrite. She married him. Anyway, thank you guys very much. And she's an